Casey D and you're watching Why Tell Me Why. It's springtime, that means that the flowers are in bloom, but that also means that pollen's in the air and allergies are everywhere. So we wanted to get to the bottom of that and find out why we have allergies. We get allergies because we inherit the tendency to get allergies from our parents. Then it depends what we're exposed to. So if you're going to become allergic to ragweed, you have to be exposed to it. And so on exposure, they develop the reaction. Why do you have to be exposed to be allergic? So the, the protein, this IgE that's in the body, is only made upon exposure to certain things that you're predisposed to make it to. So you have to be exposed to it. It's, it's a complex process, but, but we make a protein in our blood that recognizes the thing that we're going to react to, like ragweed antigen or bee venom. And then that fixes on the surfaces of certain cells in the body that are within tissues called mast cells. And then when we uh, become re-exposed to that material, say a bee venom and a bee sting, then those cells are recognized and uh, mediators are released and we get allergic reactions. So if these cells are activated in the lung, you get asthma. If they're activated in the skin, you get hives. If they're activated in the GI tract, you get uh, uh, symptoms of food allergy, for instance. Is it like a defense mechanism in a sense? Or, or no? So the, no one really knows why we have this effector system of this protein called IgE in the blood and mast cells, but it's generally believed that it's a defense system that evolved over many, many thousands of years to defend us against certain kinds of infections and insults, such as parasites. In our 20th century, where, where we are very careful not to expose our children or ourselves to infections and where they're good antibiotics, we tend to have more allergies and it's believed that if we had more infections that our responses within our body and our immune system would move away from allergies to defend ourselves against microorganisms. But because we don't have that exposure then it's believed that allergies are increasing. It's not the only explanation because it's believed that pollutants of the 20, 20th century, you know, diesel particles and things like that, act as kind of accentuators of, of the ability to become allergic. And that may have something to do with the rise in allergic diseases also. Um, not only um, is there a rise in inhalant allergies, but there's a rise in food allergies too. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why. I hope you enjoyed the segment. Any other questions, please email me at whytellmewhy at discovery.com.